Hello everybody, it's Chibi, and today is going to be an anime review on Jinsei, and the English translation to that would be Life. And speaking of translations, this series technically came out on Sunday, and it finally got translated late last night, around like 3 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't realize it, and I went to bed. But anyways, it took a couple days for this to get subbed, and I looked online before, you know, today before I watched it, and I was wondering what was taking this so long to be subbed, and I realized this is not being supported on Crunchyroll or Funimation or any major your legal streaming site, and I'm like, are you kidding me? So that's why the subs are taking so long to come out. So that's one thing. If it made me dive in deeper, why is this series being treated differently from other anime from this season by far? The reason why, as I could see, is a bunch of new voice actors are playing in this anime. If you did not know that, a lot of new voice actors are now playing major roles in this series. I'm guessing it's their first attempt at an anime voice acting. And so, just for, you know, experiment value, most likely I will continue watching this series just to see how the Sayus hold up. Now, one thing though I want to talk about about this series, okay? It's very uh, standard, stereotypical type anime. I've seen this done before. There's nothing really new here. It's pretty much it's about a club trying to settle everybody's life problems, and that's why the series gets Jinsei as its title name. It's interesting concept. We have seen this before in a bunch of different anime, which I fell to name on the top of my head because I can't remember them all. But still, the point I'm getting at is, is that this series is really standard for anime quality. It, it's really mainstream. That's all I could say. This series definitely will not bring nothing new to the table from the first episode. But I want to talk about something else. Now, this is a fan translation. So, for instance, there's probably a lot of comedy lost in this translation. Because this series looks like it's going to be a comedy series. But, judging by how the translation was from this first episode, I feel like I lost the comedy from this series from that translation. I'm going to be straight out honest. Because it seemed like it would be funny. It looked funny, and it looked good. The animation looked good. Voice actors were good. I'm not complaining really about the voice actors, but the comedy, I feel like, was lost through the translation. I'm just going to say that. So, overall, voice actors, even though they're new, and you can tell they're really new, I enjoy the voices so far. There's nothing that really annoys me, honestly. They don't seem to have any annoying traits to their voices, and so I am fine with that. I welcome them to the anime industry if they're going to continue voice acting for anime. So, overall, this series is good. I'm going to wait around until they actually have a proper translation before I review the next episode because clearly I think I lost the comedy in this series. I really do. So I want to give the Otaku 3 episode rule for this series because I feel like I am missing something. I truthfully believe I am missing something. I missed the main point of this series and so I'm going to give it another chance, a major chance because this does look like a good series. It does. It sounds good. It looks good. Just the main male character seems rather bland. That's one thing I do want to point out. The main male character, it's very stereotypical too. He's a very stereotypical main male character. He's very dull. There's nothing really interesting about him. And so I feel like he could be spiced up a little bit more. And along with all the female characters, not the voice actors, but the characters alone, the writing behind them, they seem to be very stereotypical with their certain designs also. All, all in all, go give this series a chance. I just feel like the main problem with it so far is just because we lost the actual comedy in the translations. Now, I'm not going to judge the translators because I can't translate. And so I am thankful that the subbers took the time to, you know, translate this. I'm not downing them on their quality to translate this anime. I'm just saying that I feel like, like I said, comedy was lost. So overall, thank you for the people that subbed this. If you're currently watching this video, I'm thankful for your hard work. I'm just, you know, stating the, the honest opinion I have about the entire subbing. But anyways, love all of you so much. You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.